Hi, I'm Howard from Cyber Times LLC, YouTube Creators Forum. Today I'm going to talk about vidIQ. I'm going to give an update, and it's really important, so stand by and I'll be right back. So vidIQ, it's a utility that helps you plan your keywords. vidIQ can be used to help get views to your videos and get you up on top in the searches by using trending keywords or keywords that are more popular and but I found a, a kind of a critical problem with vidIQ a few days ago when you set up your plans you can automatically have your credit card charged monthly and one of the plans that I set up was the $49 plan that covers a lot of uh, statistics and I was using it and I had a, a free trial and then I forgot about it. I went back and noticed I was being charged and I went back to the their website and I went to the the Chrome extension I, I logged in I couldn't I couldn't find a way in settings on a vidIQ website under settings or on the app on on the extension in the settings I couldn't find a way to change the plan or cancel the plan if I wanted to cancel it and this is pretty critical because I'm being charged monthly for a fee and I don't know how to change it to a lesser plan or a, or or re, or cancel it. And I I tried to call the company and I've got a message saying we'll call you back. And in the meantime, I finally found how to change it. I there was there were nothing in the settings. I did a search under changing plans or cancel and I found I got a link in their help database that I clicked on that took me to the the area in, at the website that allowed me to change my plan and, or cancel and I was able to do that and it, it was, wasn't like I couldn't contact them but it, it was like you want to do everything online and make changes and you want to be able to do it fast it took about a half an hour before I found it there was no way I could access my plans from the vidIQ extension or from the website this is important information to know. You always want to have access to your account information. And one other thing that I was concerned with is that I had a credit card on there. And I, even though I was able to change or cancel the plan, I couldn't see the credit card. I couldn't see it to erase it. And that was a concern for me because we don't want to have our credit cards floating around the Internet. Not that there was any, going to be any problem with it. And I never said I did. But anyhow... This is an update to vidIQ, and it's a great app. I still support it. So if you want to subscribe to YouTube Creators Forum, please hit the subscribe button. It's uh, right there where my headphone is. Actually, my backdrop is a tiled photograph, and I'm using green screen with uh, Open Broadcast Studio to record this video. So please subscribe, and hope to see you again.